Namaskaram everyone. I'm here in my car this time, just parked in a safe spot along the side of the road. I am driving towards the Kutch region. I have finished my wanderings and explorations in the Kathiawad region of Gujarat. I'm now driving towards Morbi and uh, soon I'll be entering uh, Gandhi Dham and from there I'll be exploring the rest of Kutch. So tonight I thought uh, we'll continue with our exploration of the 18 most important shlokas of Bhagavad Gita. We are today going to look at the 18th shloka from the 5th chapter. Let me now uh, read out the shloka first. Vidya Vinaya Sampanne Brahmane Gavi Hastini Shuni Chaiva Shvapa Kecha Pandita Samadarshinaha Before we go into the meanings of this shloka both in English and in Gujarati, let me first practice writing the shloka in Gujarati script. Vid Vinaya Sampanne Brahmane Gavi Hastini Shuni Chaiva Shvapa Kecha Pandi Sama Darshina One more time. Vidya Vinaya Sampanne Brahmane Gavi Hastini Shuni Chaiva Shvapa Kecha Pandita Sama Darshina In this shloka, Shri Krishna is now explaining to Arjuna what the qualities of somebody who is realized, who has realized the true nature of oneself is. Because Arjuna has of course posed this question to Krishna as to, okay, now you say that this is the kind of realization that is possible. So what, what are the traits of those who have realized such uh, knowledge? And Krishna goes on to present such traits in a lot of detail. And this is one of such explanations as to the traits of somebody who has realized the true nature of the self. That realization is referred to by the term Vidya. And with that Vidya comes Vinaya, which can be translated as humility. Uh, vidya Vinaya Sampanne. Once one attains, one gets sampanna, once one obtains that kind of realization, that true knowledge and the humility that comes along with it, vidya vinaya sampanne, what happens then? Brahmane, gavi, hastini, shuni cha, eva, shvapake cha, pandita, samadarshinaha. Such knowledgeable ones, such Pandita. Pandita is the one who has literally blossomed, the one who has who is now fulfilled, the one who is who has come to his fruition. Such Pandita. What do they do? What are their traits? Samadarshina. It comes from Drisha, which means to see. Samadarshina. They look upon everything equanimously. They have a sama, an equanimous outlook towards everything, all creatures in this existence. Such creatures and, and such beings in this existence, which usually people think of as being opposites, some high, some low, some great, great beings, some lowly beings. 
all those he lists out krishna lists out and says these creatures one would usually look up to or look down upon but these beings who have realized the true nature of the self look upon them equanimously what are the examples he gives brahmane towards other realized beings gavi towards cattle towards hastini towards uh, elephants shuni towards dogs or shwapaka shwapaka is the one who cooks a dog so the one who is of a lowly societal strata the one who is generally not seen as belonging to the mainstream society but to the fringe aspects of society doing a certain kind of uh, doing doing those kinds of tasks which are generally referred to as ankut so those people who cook and eat consume dogs shwapaka they are referred to as chandalas those are the ones who are usually at the crematoriums uh, taking care of dead bodies burning those bodies so they are considered inauspicious so be it a realized being be it a brahmana who is born in the priestly class who is considered as doing something which is very auspicious or shwapaka or a chandala who is seen as doing doing something extremely inauspicious towards elephants or dogs towards measly cattle panditaha are those people who have an equanimous outlook towards all creatures this reminds me of what sadguru says about you should not look up to anything or look down upon anything you just see things in this world as they are and that is when you realize the true nature of what they are and you don't exaggerate or you don't uh, diminish anything and lose out on that possibility of seeing things the way they are in this creation now that we hopefully understand the meaning of this shloka let me read out the gujarati translation of it je manushya vidya ane vinay ma sampann hoye che te brahman gai hathi kutro chandal vagere sarv ma saman drishti wala hoye che let me now practice writing this shloka in gujarati je manush विद्या विनय मन हो ते ब्राह्मण गाय हाथी कुत्रो चंडाल वगे रे समान दृष्टि वाला हो जे मनुष्य विद्या अने विनय में संपन्न हो ब्राह्मण गाय हाथी कूतरो चंडाल वगैरह सर्व में सामन दृष्टिवाला हो सो दस वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड लर्निंग फाइव श्लोकाज ऑफ द एटीन मोस्ट इम्पोर्टंट श्लोकाज ऑफ भगवदगीता एंड मैनेज टू लर्न सम गुजराती इन दिस प्रोसेस See you in the next video of this playlist. Shubhratri hi namaskaram.